Ciao lovelies, it's Lunaria here. This video is going to be a compilation of a lot of doll crafts and um, doll house DIYs that didn't fall into their own video. Um, as a result of that, I didn't film intros or anything, so this is the intro for the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. For the first craft, you're gonna need these little wooden cubes. And I'm testing out a variety of different options in terms of what I'm going to use to create the cubes themselves. Um, I have Sharpie, or permanent marker, I have gel pens, and I also have normal marker as well. So the reason why I'm testing different methods here is because I'm really not sure what's going to work best, and I wanted to eventually, you know, come away with something that worked. So for this first one, I'm going to use a gel pen, and so this one is a, uh, this one is a gel pen, so I'm going to use the gel pen, and I'm going to start making my design on the block. Now I've seen a lot of wooden blocks for kids that have the, uh, like, frame done in the color, and then whatever the letter is that's on that side or number or whatever the blocks have on them. Like carefully sort of tidying up the corners here. Okay, this is what I have so far. I'm gonna put an A on this side. So we're gonna do an ABC block for this first one. So there's our A side. We're gonna let that dry. And now, I'm going to test another method. So the next me method I'm testing is going to be the Sharpie method. So my, my only concern I had with this method, and the reason why I'm not using it as my primary method, is because I was worried the marker would bleed into the wood. So this is going to be my test to see how bad it is when it does that. Because yeah, I was right, it definitely does. <laughs> um, and then we're just going to put our little B side here. So yeah, I don't think markers would be my preferred. If you have no other options, markers are okay, but I think currently my, my preferred method is going to be the gel pen. So, basically to make dollhouse blocks, you're just gonna repeat the method of doing that over and over again. Now these ones are a bit large. These are just little wooden cubes I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're pretty big compared to my, my miniatures, but they fit in certain different scales. So I figured, there was no harm in making these little cubes into some dollhouse uh, blocks, especially because even if I don't intend to keep them this way, I can always paint over them later and end up making like a Minecraft animal craft or something because little cubes, like wooden cubes, are good for the Minecraft crafts as well. So that's the first craft. Now let's go to our second easy. The first one that I'm going to start with, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a doll vase on a table. So, I've already done the first step, but essentially what you're going to do for the first step is you're going to hot glue like a button or some kind of flat cabochon base onto your table where you want the vase to be. So, it's not super difficult to set this up. Um, and then once that's done, you can move into the next part of making your vase. And the next part of making your vase is choosing the type of vase. So you can do like crystal beads, so you can do like a fancy vase. Um, you can also do something more simple, like a wooden bead with a very wide opening. You can do like a taller wooden bead, it depends on your style of your dollhouse in particular. And then of course we've got, you can do smaller. So the next step in doing this is you're gonna hot glue the base of your choice, being a bead of some kind, onto the dollhouse table, onto the little base. Like I said, this is entirely up to your preference. Um, I went for blue because the Yellow Chateau has blue and yellow as its main theme, so I figured I'll stick to what would be good for that. Now for the flower side of it, you're going to need some uh, fake greenery here, and what you're going to want to do 
is, depending on the way you want to arrange this, you're going to cut the flowers to where there's still a stem at the bottom. And the reason you're going to want a stem at the bottom is to put into the hole in the vase. So I'm leaving this size of the stem open on this one. And then for here, I'm just going to come down to here and snip this and there's still some of that bottom part. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the little stems that you've collected and you're going to decide how you want them to be arranged in the vase. Now you don't have to do big leaves like this, you can also go for something smaller. Um, if you want something a little more simple, you can just put a flower, although it is a bit big so it doesn't really look as realistic. But whatever you think would fit best, you can make it look however you want it to look like. That's the beauty of the doll crafting, is you can make it all very custom to what your dollhouse aesthetic is. And so the last little bit of this is you're just going to take that foliage and glue it in in any arrangement that conveys the kind of aesthetic you're going for. So I am going to do... bit of arranging here on this one. Sorry, I know the sound of the little uh, table legs is kind of wild, but <laughs> okay. Oof. So that's how I've got it so far. And then I'm going to trim off any pieces that I don't want in the position that they're currently in and just secure anything else down with hot glue that I want to sit in a different way. So going into here real quick and just kind of snip it away at that. Mm. Hate that sound. <laughs> so this is what I have so far. There's not very many angles that you can tell that it's not like a vase so it seems pretty good to me and then again just kind of arrange things the way you want them to sit so for me I thought that would be ideal and there you go you have a table with a permanent little vase I say permanent but if it's a plastic table you can pop um, the hot glue off of it pretty easily so it won't actually be like permanent so let's move on to our next craft Okay, so this particular craft idea is pretty simple, but it makes for some pretty cute and easy minis for the dollhouse. You don't have to like make printables or anything, which honestly, always good. So first things first, <laughs> what you will need, um, I'm not gonna do any of these DIYs on camera, I don't believe, <laughs> at least I don't think I will, but you'll need craft foam. Um, I was using glitter craft foam hearts that were adhesive on the back. Um, I got them from the craft store after Valentine's Day on sale, so they were just a pretty good example of some, some craft foam that would have a little extra adhesion because what I was doing to make these miniatures was taking stickers or items from like pictures from magazines, but I'll show you guys the stickers first because those are better. Um, so taking, taking stickers, putting them onto the foam, and then cutting them out. So you see here, we've got this one. It's a little uh, little cassette tape. I don't know if any of you are gonna remember what a cassette tape is. I don't know if I'm old yet. Who knows, guys? But you see how the back is the glitter foam? So that's how you make these tiny little details. Um, here's a floppy disk. We're bringing it back again. <laughs> um, so you, can, you guys can see that you can like make props to add like itty bitty details to your scenes with craft foam, you know? Um, I'm also starting to do it for like wall art for the dollhouse. I haven't put these up yet, but we've got um, like a retro pancake ad. We've got a piece of art. Uh, I put the, the, the thing you're seeing there, the shiny layer on top with those cross sections. Uh, it's just tape, just clear tape. Um, another piece of art for the wall, Lisa Frank sticker. This was from a retro sticker book, but looks good nonetheless. And then let me see if I can find... 
Well, I know some of these are definitely going to be pretty easy to explain about, like, where I got the printables or whatever. So, again, a little landline cell phone. I like old tech. I feel like that's weird, but, like, also my CG is into it, and I like to be interested in things that he's interested in. Um, a little guitar. This isn't for, like them to use it's it's for like a display like you could put it on some hooks on the dollhouse wall and because it's made of foam it's not as heavy so there's less of a chance of anything that you put on the dollhouse wall is like hot glue or poster tack or glue dots there's a lower chance of it falling off the wall if it's lighter so uh continuing the music theme i've got some more records this one's more like a piece of wall art it says turn it up this one is just a little little record in general, you know. Got a ruler. He has a little face. That one was a sticker out of a sticker book. A little shell. This was just kind of an experiment to see if I could do them in smaller sizes. The answer was yes, but not as well. A uh, piece of pizza. <laughs> um, another cassette tape. This one says playlist on it, so you know. Aesthetic and Uh, a flip phone, your characters can hold this, again, it's lighter, it's easier to adhere to a character's hand for easier props for photography. Um, keeping with the theme of tech, um, another mixtape, I like that one a lot. And then we've got a little MP3 player, which I'm going to try to make some uh, headphones for. This is not tech, this is just a piece of mail. Uh, a Tomogachi, because, you know, we'd be an extra. A uh, uh, camera. A little, a little waffle. Bottle of glue. A wall clock. Two handheld mirrors, which, um, they're both stickers, and then I just put them on the glittery backdrop. Um, and for some of the stuff, you can add gems to it as well to give it dimension. Another piece of pizza. And then the last thing is this little cookie. So yeah, you can add gemstones to them. You could do... There's a lot of detailing you can do. But basically, that was how I did those. Um, so that is my dollhouse DIY idea for today. And... Thank you for watching. I don't know if this is going to be in a compilation or in a shorter video, so I guess you guys might get to see the same outro twice, but um, who knows? So, I guess bye for now. Thank you, lovely, so much for watching. If you like what I do on this channel or if you want to see more like DIY content, just definitely subscribe. If you like this video or you like what I do here, please leave me a like or a comment or share this video. That would be lovely, 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 like y'all. And today's self-care tip from Lunaria is take care of future you because you really, really need to because if you fall off the wagon of taking care of future you, it can really affect you in a major way. Taking care of future you is more than just a, an act of self-love. It's an act of discipline, self-control, and an act of guaranteeing certain things about your future, whether you think about it or not. But if you pack yourself lunch for tomorrow, you've guaranteed that you have lunch instead of leaving it up to chance that you wake up on time to pack it. You know what I'm saying? So take care of yourself in that way. So thank you lovely so much for watching. Uh, please remember to stay awesome and love yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye lovelies.